The Westminster Accounts, a new way to follow the money through our political system, giving you the chance to track your MP and who gives to them. Yesterday, we revealed which MPs earn the most from second jobs and triggered calls for change. The more transparency, the better. Today, the men, women and businesses who put their money into Westminster, too long just part of the punch and duty of our politics. They're paid by the union barons and they're, and they're proud of it. The simple truth is that they are the party for the tax dodgers, not the taxpayers. But the reality of who gives to our MPs is far more complex than the game playing suggests. Tracing the network of donors to MPs in Parliament has never been easy. Links have long been obscured in a system that was never designed to be properly analysed. Now, here's something you genuinely haven't been able to do before. You might recognise these names. They're the top donors to political parties, four big unions who've given over £21 million to Labour, wealthy individuals, Lord Sainsbury and JC Bamford, who opened their checkbooks for the Lib Dems and the Conservative Party. But this is what we've never been able to show you. Here is who's been giving the most cash and support to individual MPs over this parliament, so since December 2019. Again, some names you recognise. Two of the biggest unions are the biggest donors, Unite and GMB, with some of the biggest sums going to Labour MPs on the left of the party. In fact, over half of Unite's £600,000 of donations to individuals go to just three Labour MPs, Rebecca Long-Bailey, Richard Bergen and Barry Gardner. But then this becomes a story about what we don't know. And to tell it, we're going to focus on two companies in this list. The third biggest donor to MPs in this parliament is a little-known entity, a Hertfordshire business called MPM Connect. They give well over a quarter of a million pounds to just three well-known Labour MPs, Yvette Cooper, Dan Jarvis and Wes Streeting. Such a big donor, so little information. A company, but it's not clear what it does or where it gets its money. It has no website, its accounts say there are no employees, two directors are listed, but no public route to contact the company itself. We just wanted to understand who was behind the donations and why they gave the money. So we asked the MPs themselves. Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper, who received a donation of £180,000 from the company, her office gave us a statement they said was not to be quoted. Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting said everything was declared in the proper way. Dan Jarvis said all of his donations support his work as an MP, not the answers to the questions that we hoped for. So we travelled to Hertfordshire to the company's registered address. Hello there, I'm from um, Sky News. Um, we're trying to get in touch with people from MPM Connect. This is the address for MPM Connect. Peter Hearn or Simon Murphy, do, do you know whether I can speak to them or how I can contact them? No, sorry. No. Do, do you recognise the names I'm talking about? No. You look confused. Do you, do, have you heard of MPM Connect? Accountants. Yes, have you heard of MPM Connect? No. You haven't heard of MPM Connect. It's, no. it's registered addresses here. Have you heard of Peter Hearn or Simon Murphy, the two directors for MPM Connect, who's a, who oh, registered here? Yes, we're from Sky News. We're trying to find out more about MPM Connect. Yes. yes. But you said you don't, un you haven't heard of MPM Connect. We'd rather not speak to you. <laughs> You'd what, but why not? We're just trying to find out about MPM, MPM Connect. Okay, so there we have. Uh, two individuals in there who say that they haven't heard of Peter Hearn, of MPM Connect, uh, and shut the door when we ask more questions. No light being shed here. Just an accountant's firm where hundreds of companies have registered themselves. This all completely permitted under a system that allows firms as well as people to donate, but makes answers 
hard to reach. All a question of transparency and bigger than one company or one party. There are examples in this leaderboard where the data alone presents us with a straight-up mystery. Here is the case of IX Wireless. Why would 24 MPs, all Northern Tories, each be handed between two and nine thousand pounds from a small, little-known Northern broadband company? Why would they do it? And who's behind it? A new beginning. A new dawn. A new horizon. Glossy promotional videos promise a network for everyone. And IX Wireless have won high-profile support from government. Then Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden appearing next to founder Tahir Misan for the firm's Blackburn launch. It really is going to provide some of the fastest broadband speeds on the planet to tens of thousands of people across the Northwest. No more us! No more not all locals were as impressed as the government minister, many angry at the sudden appearance of large poles put up by IX Wireless in their neighbourhoods. The company's website, its accounts, phone calls to IX Wireless and its sister company 6G Internet, based at the same address, offered few clues why the firm should be donating in this way. We've had a bit of a brick wall because they say it's company policy not to hand the media the email address for the press office. So we're just going to have to knock on the door. There's nothing identifying any company whatsoever. The floor looks pretty damp. There's really no sign of life. It doesn't look like there has been for, for some time. No answers, so I called the number on their website. They immediately confirmed this was the right address. I'm calling from Sky News. My name's Sam Coates. I'm just trying to get in touch with um, uh, somebody from IX Wireless to, to answer our questions. I'm actually standing outside Ribble House and there doesn't seem to be anybody here. She sounded unsure. Are you inside Ribble House? She said there will be and that she'd find someone to answer my questions, then put me on hold. After a while, I was told there was nobody who could talk to me. Uh, is anyone in there? Does anyone work in there? No answer. She asked me for my details and said someone would be in touch. The call never came. 24 Conservative MPs have accepted donations from IX Wireless. One has since defected to the Labour Party. Christian Wakeford described how he applied for campaign cash to fellow MP and head of the Northern Research Group, Jake Berry. When it arrived a month later, they were told to register it from IX Wireless. Before you were told that the donation had come from IX Wireless, had you ever heard of them? I'd never heard of them, no. Literally the first time I'd ever heard was that email saying, this, this is who you need to, uh, to put against the register for the donation. Jake Berry declined to answer what his relationship was with the firm and its founder, Tahir Masan. The Westminster Accounts Project was designed to show us who gives and help us to understand why. But in some cases, answering those questions is simply not possible. The current system does not make it easy to follow the money and MPs can choose to avoid the most basic questions. I think the basic assumption of most MPs is that if they're following the rules that they've been told to follow, uh, they've made their declarations. But I think there's a bigger question here. Is that transparency actually sufficient? If an MP is asked for more information, should they feel that actually that is something that they're willing and able to give? Do they actually know the answer to some of these questions if they've taken money uh, from, from a, uh, a company that they don't necessarily know how that is funded? I think that's actually quite important. MPs tell us the rules on donations give us transparency. But just following those rules has left so many questions unanswered and absence of information. The most important donations go to the most important people who have the biggest sway over our lives. Leaders, past and present, under the spotlight tomorrow as we continue to examine what's in the Westminster accounts.